What is going on guys? I am the John Gazim and I am here today to talk with you about the longest Pixar movie ever made. The movie that within two days of its DVD release sold five million copies. The name of this movie? Cars. And I've got to say, it's one of my favorite Pixar movies ever made. Did you know that when the plot of the movie was originally being written, it was actually about an electric car living in a gas-guzzling world? Probably didn't. But now you do. And did you know that this was the first Pixar film to ever be released on Blu-ray? It was also the last Pixar film to be released on VHS. The actual last movie to ever be released on VHS, I believe, was A History of Violence starring Viggo Mortensen. Not a very good movie. Also, has no uh, relation to Cars. So, there's that. This next fact I love so much because it shows that despite Disney, for the most part, only making kids movies, knows that adults are going to be watching their movies too. Because at the beginning of this movie, there is a set of twin cars named Mia and Tia that flash their headlights at Lightning McQueen. That's actually supposed to be a subtle nod to the adult racing fans who know that when girls expose their breasts on a racing track, it's usually called flashing their headlights. So Mia and Tia were kind of loosey-gooseys. Pretty awesome. Now, as we all know, the personality of Lightning McQueen was supposed to be very cocky and arrogant, yet somehow lovable. To really get this idea down perfectly, the animators used people like Muhammad Ali and Kid Rock as reference points. I don't think Kid Rock is lovable in any way, shape, or form, and I think he smells like hot dog water, but Disney animators disagree. Probably not with the fact that he smells like hot dog water, though. Now, as a huge fan of Entourage, this next bit of trivia made me really happy. Lightning McQueen's agent was voiced by actor Jeremy Piven. Jeremy actually plays Ari Gold, who is Vincent Chase's agent on Entourage. And if you've never seen Entourage, just know that that's a really big deal. Of course, we've got to talk about the A113 references in the movie. I feel like we haven't talked about this in forever. One of them is on the side of the train that Lightning McQueen is trying to outrun, and the second one is on Mater's license plate. And you guys, I've got to end this with my favorite fact of them all. Actually, my favorite fact was the Entourage one, but I feel like you guys will like this one a little bit more. Lightning McQueen's original number was supposed to be 57, which is John Lasseter's birth year. However, it was changed to 95 to represent the year that Toy Story was released. And actually, the car who wins the race in the first teaser for this movie has the number 57 and is likely to be an early production model for Lightning McQueen. Blaze. Now you guys, those 10 facts were the only facts that I'm going to be talking about today. However, there is so much trivia behind this movie that is amazing. Because of that, I'm going to put a link in the description down below to 112 facts about this movie that I really want you guys to read. All I've got to say is that the amount of work that Disney puts into their movies and the amount of secrets and cool little references they put in their movies is insane. It's absolutely mind-blowing. So you guys, like I said, that is all we're talking about for today. Make sure you let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section down below. Maybe rate, possibly subscribe if you want to. And as I always say, make sure you check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram profiles because it is on those social media sites where I am posting links to unlisted videos that you guys on those pages will have early access to before the general public does. I actually won't be posting them on my Instagram, but you should still follow my Instagram uh, because I want more followers. Or don't do any of that. Totally cool with me. I just want to say that I appreciate your guys' support and I'm so happy that you watched the video up to this point. Anybody who didn't, buzz off. You'll never see this, so buzz the heck off. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and stay fresh.